There are a ton of programs that promise to save you time, but they all require you to learn a new skill or retrain a bad habit. What if you could save time doing something that you're already doing every day, like typing? That's what Text Expander can do for you. Welcome to Apps in Law, I'm Brett Burney, and today we're looking at the Text Expander Plus Keyboard app for the iPhone and the iPad. The idea behind Text Expander is that it lets you type short, easy to remember abbreviations like OFFADD that will type out your entire office mailing address. As soon as you type that abbreviation, OFFADD, Text Expander types out your entire office mailing address for you, plus it's 100% accurate every single time. You can visit TextExpander.com to get some more information about the software and to sign up for a free trial for your Windows or your Mac computer. Or if you'd feel better with an easy to follow step-by-step -step guide on how you can incorporate Text Expander into your practice, you can visit my Text Expander for Lawyers online course at TextExpanderForLawyers.com. There you'll find a short teaser video that will show you how Text Expander works, along with a lot more information about the basics and advanced Text Expander courses that I offer there for lawyers. You should visit these sites first to set up Text Expander on your Windows or your Mac computer because the Text Expander Plus Keyboard app for your iPhone and iPad will only work if you have an active subscription to Text Expander. The original Text Expander Touch app for the iPhone was released in August 2009, but it had limited functionality. You had to manually transfer your snippets from your computer over to your iPhone and it worked pretty much the same way when the iPad was released in 2010. Version 2 of the Text Expander app was released in May 2013 and allowed users to then sync their snippets between their computer and their iOS devices using Dropbox. The Text Expander app continued to be updated with new features over the next several years, including the addition of a Text Expander keyboard with the release of iOS 8. That's why you see that word in the name of today's app. Now, before we move on to how you can use Text Expander on your iPhone and iPad, let me address the fact that iOS already has a built-in text replacement feature that works pretty good. Text Expander does much of the same thing as iOS text replacement, but there are a few differences. You can get to the iOS text replacement by going to your settings app, go to general on the left side, keyboard down here on the right, and you'll see text replacement there towards the top. I actually use the built-in iOS text replacement feature a lot because it's built into the entire system, and I can use that option in any app. But it only allows you to expand out simple text phrases or some symbols if you're smart about how to set that up. But you can't do any formatted text or multiple lines. That's why I turn to Text Expander on my iPhone or iPad when I need a more robust text replacement system. The best news is that the built-in iOS text replacement system and the Text Expander app can live harmoniously side by side on your iOS device without any problems. There are three ways you can use Text Expander on your iPhone or iPad. And the first is the Text Expander app. While Text Expander works in any application on your Windows or Mac computer, Apple won't allow this on the iPhone or the iPad due to security measures, which is ultimately a good thing. When I'm working on my Windows or Mac computer, the Text Expander snippets that I use every day are basically muscle memory in my fingers now. I can expand out the current date by typing DDT, for example. Um, I can type out my mobile phone number by typing M phone. I can type out the name of my company by typing the abbreviation B-U-C-C. -C. And the great thing is all of those snippets will sync over to my iPhone and my iPad through my Text Expander subscription service. When I need a Text Expander snippet on my iPhone or my iPad, I can simply open the Text Expander app and I find the snippet that I need and then I can copy the content of that snippet over to my iOS clipboard and then I can go back to an app and I can essentially paste it into that app. I do this for a lot of different email signatures that I use. Uh, yes, again, iOS offers a built-in way to automatically add signatures to your email messages based on your accounts, 
but using Text Expander for me is much more flexible and I can use formatted text and URLs. So you see here I have an email signature. I can tap the share menu at the bottom and copy that snippet to the iOS clipboard. And then I can go back to email message, for example, and I can tap in there and simply just paste that content directly into wherever I have a blinking cursor. In the Text Expander app, you can view your snippets by groups, which is what I'm doing here, or you can use the notes functionality. That will allow you to actually expand out a snippet inside the app. Now this is great when you have a date macro or a fill-in snippet or something that's a lot more advanced, which by the way, I go into all of the advanced options in Text Expander in the Text Expander for Lawyers Advanced Online Course. You can find that at textexpanderforlawyers.com. So for example, I can tap into notes here and at the bottom in the center, there's a little plus sign. I can tap that and create a new little sort of a, like a scratch pad, if you will. Now I'm gonna expand out an email that I've been sending fairly often. It's just uh, it's for the Federal Bar Association. So I'm gonna do FBA and then press for presentation. And this is an email I'm sending out to folks. So I can basically just fill in the little uh, snippet field there with the name, John. Okay, I'll say go, I'm done. And now I have an email already ready, I can go up here and just simply copy that text and then go and paste it into an email message. Or I can tap mail here, which brings up a brand new mail message with everything already populated into the body for me. The second method on using Text Expander on your iPhone or iPad is the Text Expander keyboard. With the release of iOS 8 in 2014, Apple allowed app developers to create keyboards that can be used inside any app. Text Expander promptly offered a keyboard, which was exciting because it allowed snippets to be expanded in any app where you had a blinking cursor. This is much similar to how Text Expander works on a computer. Your first step to add the Text Expander keyboard in iOS is to go into your settings app, go to general over on the left and keyboard down at the bottom. And at the very top, you see keyboards. If you tap that, this is where you can add keyboards to your iPhone or your iPad. You're going to tap add new keyboard and you'll see text expander there in the list. Now this is only after you've installed the text expander plus keyboard app. You can obviously go and select your language and you tap done at the top. Now there's one more step here before it will actually work in any app. You'll need to Go back to your list here where you can see Text Expander has been added. You're gonna tap on that and you're gonna switch on allow full access. I'll get a little bit of a warning message here, but it'll be fine. This just means that it will actually work inside the app, so I'm gonna tap allow there. Now once that's done, you can go to basically any app where you have a blinking cursor. I'll jump over into my mail app here. And once you've added an extra keyboard like the Text Expander keyboard, You'll see down at the bottom, in the bottom left corner, there's a little globe icon there. And if you tap on that, that will cycle through your different keyboards that you have available on your iPhone or your iPad. Here's a quick little bonus tip, by the way. If you tap and hold on that globe icon, you can actually keep your finger on the screen and move it up and down so that you can actually select which keyboard you want instead of cycling through them all. Now that I'm in the Text Expander keyboard, I can basically use snippets just like I would use on my computer. I can do DDT, for example, to type the current date or M phone to type my mobile phone number or B-U-C-C is my abbreviation for the name of my company. All of those snippets work just like I was typing on a Windows or a Mac computer. Now I typically don't leave my keyboard on the text expander keyboard because I like to use Siri dictation quite a bit and Apple won't allow third party keyboards to have access to Siri dictation. So I have to switch back to the default keyboard quite often. In November, 2016, Text Expander was updated to offer snippet keys, which streamlines things a little bit more. If you have the Text Expander keyboard open, you can tap the little T key down here just to the left of the space bar. And that now brings up a little grid of snippet keys. And if I simply just tap one of these, for example, it will actually expand out that little snippet automatically. Now, in order to get these snippet keys, you have to set them up in the Text Expander app. So if I jump back over here into the Text Expander app, 
In the upper right corner, that little gear icon there, I'm going to tap that. And you can see if I select general on the left side, I can select snippet keys over on the right. And now these are the list of snippet keys that will show up in the text expander keyboard. I can tap the plus sign in the little bottom there, go find another snippet that I want to add. You see the little check mark that's there and I'll exit out of that. I'll tap done over there. And now if I go back, to my mail message and I bring that up, you can see I just added that little copyright symbol there and now that's part of the snippet keys available for me. The only bummer with this is that the text expander keyboard doesn't work easily when you have an external physical keyboard connected to the iPad. Uh, the text expander keyboard only works with the on-screen keyboard. If you have an iPad with the Apple Smart Cover keyboard or another external Bluetooth keyboard that you use with the iPhone or the iPad, you'll have to actually disconnect that physical keyboard from your iPad first to bring up the on-screen keyboard and then you can switch to the text expander keyboard. It's a little bit of a pain, but again, it's due to Apple security restrictions, which is ultimately a good thing. The third method for using text expander on your iPhone or iPad is to seek out a text expander enhanced app. Uh, this last method is really the best of all worlds in using text expander on an iOS device, but it only works in certain apps. Along the way, Text Expander released a software developer kit, an SDK, that other app developers could use to bake in the Text Expander functionality into their own apps. Basically, this means that Text Expander will work almost exactly the same way that it works on a Windows or a Mac computer, but you have to be inside one of these specific apps. Now there are currently 74 apps that Text Expander lists that include this functionality and the hope of course is always that the list will continue to grow. For this to work, the first thing you need to do is go into the Text Expander app on your iPhone or iPad and you're going to go into the settings so that you can share the snippets from the Text Expander app with the other apps. So in the upper right corner, that little gear icon there brings up the settings inside the Text Expander app. And what you're going to do is scroll down on the right side here until you see share snippets. Now make sure you turn that on and you can see it allows enhanced apps to fetch snippets. Once you've done that, you've got to go into each app and turn on the functionality inside that app. And one of my favorites that I use is the drafts app, which is really fantastic for jotting something down quickly. Now I'm gonna go into the settings inside the drafts app here, which is all the way down to the bottom right corner, that little gear icon there. And when I pull this up, I'm gonna scroll through the settings until I find the text expander extensions there. You tap on that and you can say, I'm gonna turn on enable expansion. And then I'm going to refresh the snippets. And what this does is basically just ensures that everything is updated so that when I am ready to type inside the drafts app, it's all available right there. Now, regardless of whether you're using the on-screen keyboard or the Apple smart cover keyboard or another external keyboard, wherever you have a blinking cursor inside the drafts app, you can type the text expander snippets that you know from your text expander subscription. So I can do DDT, which is my date abbreviation there, or as M phone is my mobile phone number or BUCC for my company name, OFFADD was my office address. All of that pops right up. I don't have to switch the keyboard because Drafts is a text expander enhanced app. The only caveat here is that if you have a fill in of some kind, um, I think my email was FBA Prez, it'll launch the text expander app only if you have a fill in because that's where it's going to uh, uh, work the best. So I'll type in the name Amy, but as soon as I tap go there, it spits me right back into the app that I was in, like the drafts app here, and it immediately expands out that entire snippet. If you're intrigued at all about how Text Expander can save you time while you type, then please visit TextExpanderForLawyers.com where you're going to get a lot more information about how the software and the service works together and you can get questions answered as well. You can always email me at brett at appsinlaw.com with any questions. Thanks for watching.